Welcome back to the CEO Row Experience. I am your gracious host, CEO Row, and I have my co-host, Out of Pocket, and we have my special guest today, Keith Freeman, a.k.a. The One. Keith Free TG. A.k.a. The One. The yes, One. Sir. The One. Yeah, Not man. Enough. It's a Not pleasure enough. to have you, Keith. Welcome man, to the CEO Row Experience. It's a pleasure to be here, bro. Uh, again, it's an honor. It's humbling. Um, I, I thank you, man. I thank you, bro. Like, no doubt. You, 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 you show me a lot of love out here, man. So no I, I appreciate I f- it. Man. I fucks with you. Just real quick before we get into the interview, it's like, you know, I used to, I used to make you, I used to say little things to you every time I, I bump into you. You know what I'm saying? Every time, like, yo, every time, every, every time I see you, I like you a little bit more. Every time I see you, <laughs> shit like that. You dig what I'm saying? And um, I really, I feel the music. I started to recognize that the music had a message. And you know me being who I am, I'm a fan of hip hop. It got you got to be saying something. I'm old school with it, you know what I mean. So I could really appreciate where you were coming from. Um, I could understand what you were saying, and it had a vibe to it. So again, welcome to the CEO Row Experience. Uh, please tell the people um, a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, um, and basically how you got started. Oh uh, man, uh, Keith Freeman. That's the name. It's no gimmicks to it. You can Google it. Uh, it's on all platforms. Uh, I'm the owner of Team Ghostly. Team Ghostly LLC. Make your presence felt. Shouts out that's to Team the, Ghostly. That's the motto. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm the owner. I'm the artist. And uh, I'm just out here trying to trying to live by that, making my presence felt, and uh, you know, motivate, inspire. You know what I mean? Give people something to wake up to, and 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 you know, a soundtrack to life. You know, make you want to. Get through what you're going through, cause it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some stuff that we're gonna go through. So, right. you know, I that's just I try to make music that's not downing and depressing, but more so uplifting and motivating. Copy, and I can appreciate that, and I'm sure all your fans can appreciate that. Um, tell them a little bit about how you got started. Like, how did you get into rapping? Uh, well. It, it, it started uh, just with having Team Ghostly, man. Just just having a brand, having something to, to, to stand behind and, and use to promote messages that I had that I wanted to put out here into the world, you know, spread positivity. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. So, you know, to motivate myself, I will motivate others. You know, that's that, that's one of the things that, that kept me going was to be able to, to tell somebody else that it's going to be good, just keep working or or dream big or whatever the case is and um that'll give me what I need to keep going myself. So um I was I was I was speaking at schools, I was I was doing Instagram content, uh YouTube content, all different type of different venues and things. Um just 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 promoting positivity. It was never rap. I never looked at myself as a rapper because of what you know rappers portray to be like i'm a i'm a hip-hop head like i love music so i always growing up looked at rappers like oh yeah like i'm not i'm not a rapper like that's <laughs> that's not that's right. not like i i know music but right. that's that's not what i live so you know i never looked at myself as a rapper but i could say um just 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 wanting to take what i was doing to another level i thought music would be a great great way because our culture man like we 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 use music for everything. Right. You know what we I'm saying? We are people of the music. We people of music. And it's such a universal language that I figure that what's the best way to, to, to spread positivity, what's the best way to motivate and inspire than through music? That's dope. That's dope. Um, I really think it's dope because it's real unique. Um, it's not like really the kind of the this, this cliche story that you hear how everybody got into rapping. You know what I mean? You were already motivating um, out there, you were, you know, giving back to the, the youth, giving back to the community. Um, you had a message. So it's like I can understand why, you know, I gravitated towards your music. You feel me? Your music is saying something. It has a purpose to it. Um, I recommend that everybody go check out my man Keith Freeman's work. He's streaming on all major platforms. You dig what I'm saying? The man works very hard. He's doing his thing. He just rocked the stage with my man Del P and PD Crack. Um, at Del P's listening party. Shouts Shout out, out to Del, Del P. Shouts Shout out, out to Petey Crack. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, Keith is busy. Um, 
But what what inspired you, Keith? What inspired you? I guess was it. I, I guess that would be the answer. I guess right to basically you were already motivating and you used this vessel basically, you know, as a way to reach the people. So what would be your message when you go into the schools then? Um, when, how would you? What, what what's the message that you're trying to use to reach or bridge the gap between your age bracket and the kids' age bracket? Honestly. Feeling like because I'm the youngest of all my brothers, okay. I, I, I kind of. How honest, many brothers you got? I got two. Okay. I got two. I'm the baby. Out of pocket, got twelve. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately. Crazy. One sister. One sister. One sister. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um. It, it's it's three of us, and uh, I'm the youngest. So I kind of always felt still like a kid at heart, kinda. So. Though I was always more mature because I was around nothing but older people, Got I it. Still, like it was like I grew up faster than what I, feel I that. wanted to, kinda or had to. So I, I don't feel that far removed from the youngins when I go talk right. to them. You know what I mean? Whether it's they lingo, whether it's what they what they think is cool, whether I could tell when they bitten on you and you don't even peep the situation, like all types of little things. So I just I just try to be relatable to them. And show them that it's cool to not be a bozo. It's cool not to be no out here doubt, doing the nut stuff. So, no you know what I'm saying? doubt, like, you can still It's cool not to be a bozo. Be you. Yeah, that's good shit, bro. Way to drop that gem on, on, on the CEO role experience. It's cool not to be a bozo. It's a fact. And I'm saying it's not cool to be dumb and it's not cool to be a loser, man. It's a fact. And um, that's, that's, that's just one of the things that I, I, I try to show them is... I, I've hung around the gangsters. I hung around mm -hmm. the nerds. I hung around everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. So it's you could you you don't have to try to be a certain way to fit in or do nothing mm -hmm. like that, man. You be can yourself. be yourself. You can make your presence felt mm -hmm. by being yourself. And um, that's that's just what I try to you know that's that's my main message to them for real for real is right. that because a lot of the stuff I feel like they do. Is it's off the of influence, you know? They want to try to fit in. They they think it's cool, or or they think that that's what you're supposed to be doing. Right. You know what I mean? But I just I just try to show them a different way, man. The best way I can. Again, that's dope, man. Um, out of pocket does a lot of uh, work in the community as well. But you know, normally by the time he get involved, it's kind of too late. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man. Do you have anything that you want to say, speaking on on on, on what you've heard the brother Keith say thus far, bro? Well, you know, this is my first time meeting the brother, man, and you know, off the off the cameras, man. You know, we got a chance to bid, laugh a little bit. You know what I'm saying, and I, what I've learned from him off the rip is that he's a little laid back. You know what I mean? And him being able to be a little laid back, because you don't find many people that's real laid back and still moving forward as fast as he's moving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a positive big up to him. So, you know, he's like a motivated superhero that, you know what I mean, has his own powers and you can't really understand him until you know what how you know how to break him down, how to, you know what I mean, that kryptonite or whatever. Cause you ain't gonna never know because he's so laid back. You know what I'm saying? He's got to show it to you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm with you, man. I appreciate you know, that. I'm, man. I'm, I, you know, I can't wait. I haven't heard none of the music yet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to. You That's know. right, but yeah, look forward to that because I'm, I'm, I'm putting you on, man. He's Freeman, baby. You know, I'm, I'm, I want to know. It, 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 it's all that I, I know. know. I want to know what's all the rap about. <laughs> yeah, man. I want to know. Can you know? Yeah. Can he? Can he rap? Can he make? Can he make out of pocket feel like it's about something? That's what you was yeah. asked the yeah. first time. Yeah, we met. when I. Go ahead, tell it, man. That's the first, but the like, first time we met, what? it was uh, it was on uh, Flyboy Fly Day Radio. Shout out to the Flyboys. Shout out man. to the Flyboys Fly Radio. Yeah. We uh, Ro was there. Um, I had dropped the mixtape. It was last New Year's Eve, and um, uh, Ro was asked, "Can he, what you think? Can he rap?" And I, you know, I was sitting right there, and Ro kept it real. And he uh, he said yeah he could rap it, it was all it was all good it was all positive it was all good. Um, Who would so, say Ro even knew what rap really is? Yeah. Let, I, I, listen, I I just listen, had just I, met him at the time, so listen, I don't know. Yeah, but what but what I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this because I don't know where out of pocket See, going no, with that one, right? But I'm going with this but is I'm going with this is is right. Sometimes we gotta prepare for the ultimate, you know that the mm. ultimate specialty. 
or the ultimate sacrifice, you know, that you give each and every day. You put, you know, because sometimes, man, people don't want to, we don't want to deal with people that ain't out here pushing nothing. you making a sacrifice to stay focused. Talking to Mike, you know brother. I mean? Talking to Mike. You, you, you know, you, yeah. you know I, hello, hello. Yeah, hello. you go. Keep it in. E.T. E- yeah. phone home. Yeah. Now, like what I'm saying mm-hmm. is, right, you know, it take it take a lot for somebody to stay positive and to keep their joint going. Like, you know, even like you broke down a couple things that you do for us, clothing, you know what I mean, different clothing lines, different platforms and all that. When I hear you say, oh, yeah, we on a bunch of different platforms, I'm like, whoa, but he too laid back. I'm thinking he just rap. You got all this thing going on. I'm just looking forward to get down with you, man, see what you got, got out here popping. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a support because I'm supporting anybody that's positive, anybody that's trying to make a change, man. Because that's what it's about, man. You know, we got a lot of foolishness going on, and we hoping that next year, I mean this year, can be a whole lot better than last year. You know, we had a lot of ups and downs, struggles. We got a lot of people that's out here dying that we love, we care about, friends, buddies, homies, uh, sisters. A lot of sisters is, is is passing away more than ever before. So right now, we just we gotta do something. So the message that you pushing. I'm all for it. I, I want to do something with the kids as well, bro. You know, so we let's 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 try to see what we can do. I want to know if you get right. Well, I don't know. You cleaned that up real good because I don't know where the hell you still was going with what you said earlier. <laughs> but it's cool. No, going. that was a good message. But I'm, I'm just saying, that. you said rolling. No, so I just you. I'm just saying. I know when I heard the man, um, when I heard the man rhyme because that was first and foremost. Can he rhyme? Can he rap? Because first and foremost, Keys looks young to me. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, I, you know, how is he going to be? And Keith can rap. He's not what I expected. That was number one. So, number two, you know, as far as the flow and art of rapping, he can rap. It's not, it wasn't corny to me. I'd have been honest. You know what I'm saying? I was okay with I didn't say that. You feel what I'm saying? So, that was the initial. Because that was just a mixtape. Now we talking about seeing them perform at other um, sit- in, uh, in other situations, performing at Poets and Laughter. Shouts out to Keith Freeman Duffy came and did his thing at Poets and Laughter. Um, but what? every time I saw him, it got better for me. It was good. Like it's it's like okay, yeah. Can I ask you this, bro? What? Yeah, you know I man. What type of flow that you can like say that you would be able? Because I'm trying to see what 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 you know what you think about. What would you compare him to? Is he like a, you know, I mean, which artist out there you might say is it, you know, uh, wh- which one would you pick out? That all right, so. The brother, as far as I know, the brother, the brother had was already merchandising, already coming as a motivational speaker, already had a good head on his shoulders um, before he be actually became a rapper. And when I guess I feel that through his music, you feel me? So what I would say that he would be similar to is like more like a Nipsey Hustle, you know what I'm saying? Not with the West Coast vibe, you dig what I'm saying? But with you know, Tupac did the, the mama type of joint. Yeah, like it Tupac could be a shit. Yeah, like it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's it's. Yeah, that's the push through. That's a vibe. It's a vibe, brother. You know, that's the push through, man. When you can reach the brothers and sisters out here that's needed, man. You know, like, like at the end of the day, man. Actually, what that tells us that he's been through a lot. When you want to put some message, you want to put some message because somebody don't understand what you've been through in your life, man. You know, and a lot of times, you know, even with the kids, sometimes the kids don't want to hear something from somebody who never been through what they've been through. Exactly. If your mom ain't never been out here getting high, you know, walking up and down Market Street, walking up and down Kensington and Willing Ave and Chester Ave and all in lands down there, they say, hold on, how are you going to understand what I'm talking about, bro? You, 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 you don't know what I'm talking about if you've never been out here. You, so, so real quick, that just to speak on that, not to cut you off, that's, yeah. that's a good way to go, but that's what it's going to come into the question. Keys, do you mind sharing something that, that you know what I mean, you went through where you, when you, came, you came up out of it and you learned something from it? I mean, it's it's plenty of things, but of course, the biggest thing, and then mo- like has been, you know, when I lost my mom in 2020, like that was, that was it. I'm still growing, like I'm still finding myself and learning from that. Still trying to get my, like I'm trying to, I'm re, I got, it's like I've been reborn, cause especially like being the youngest. Again, I'm the, I'm a mama's boy, right. like you know what I'm saying. And my pop was my pop was always around too, so they was they was married till death did his part, so. Now I'm watching him in a state that I've never seen him in. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like that, just 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 her passing really is is has been the main thing for me that has just shown me a lot about life, man. It showed me like so much about life, period. So it's like 
as, as much as I've been through before that, you know, us losing homes, being foreclosed and, you know, other people passing and her being sick the whole time. It just even being, you know, dealing with her being sick my whole life is one thing. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like it, it just taught me so much about life, man. So it's like, yeah, that, that's the biggest thing for real. For real. You know, yeah. that's deep. You know, because, you know, since I've been doing this with CEO, bro, right, many people that sit here beside me, they, they got the same exact story me and you got because I lost my mother too. I lost my mother to an overdose of drugs when I was 13. I even had to identify my mother. So I lived about, so I, I, mean, I went about 35 years without my mother. You know what I'm saying? And I had to always ask, you know, sometimes I used to do things that was a little bit different. Like I would sing in the bathroom to my mom, different stuff and all of that. Uh, I knew how to put words together when I'm by myself to her because it was from the heart. And I also learned how to just, I always ask myself, what would my mom like to see right now? Other than she would love to see her babies doing what we do now. You know what I'm saying? Because she taught me everything that I needed to know. I got the stenching cords. I got the half ball sticks. I got the, the, the be in the house on time. I got the, uh, the calendar with my name on it for my chores and all that stuff. A lot of things she gave me, and it kind of like prepared me for what's going on there. So because I, I got disciplined in the way that I was, I had to be in the house at a certain time. I, I couldn't go off the block at a certain time. All of these, all these things that she gave me played a big part. So even though I was, I ended up going, was incarcerated for a minute for a period of 15 years, that's because I lost focus, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't care, you know what I'm saying? But she taught me to look, whatever you do, whatever problem you did, handle your business, get your ass back out here. Now you got some fixing to do. So we made a lot of mistakes after mama. We did a lot of things that was crazy, but... It's our job and our duty. We have a duty. That's why they say, what is the duty of a civilized man? The duty of a civilized man is civilized or uncivilized. If we fail to perform our duty, what must be done? You know what I'm saying? It's our job to get out here and, you know, it's our, we got a duty to do something because our mothers don't bring us in the world to not do nothing. You know, when you watch the five heartbeats and stuff like that, it usually tell you they want to be stars to get their mom out, get their mom a house, get their daddy a car, Mom thinks, you know, what happened to that? You know, people ain't trying to be something to get their parents and their family out the hood. You know what I mean? Well, see, that's the thing. Let me jump in there. That's the thing. And, and I appreciate, you know, Jim dropping this five heartbeat, Jim. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's when you hear keys, you going to feel it. That's what I'm telling you, man. It's it, You know, you got the party joints. You know, you have some feel-good joints, rather. But he has the joints where you're going to feel him. He's going to talk about the pain. He's going to walk you through it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you can relate to it. It's a, it's a vibe. It's not saying it's all pain, but it's a vibe. I'll let you see for yourself. You dig what I'm saying? When it's time. Um, <laughs> but, Keith, go ahead and shoot and let the people know where they can find you at and where they should go to follow you at and things of that nature. Man, let them people know how they can get engaged with Keith Team, Freeman. TeamGhostly.com. TeamGhostly.com. T-E-A-M-G-H-O-S-T-L-Y.com. Man, you could... Follow me there. You can subscribe to everything there. You can find all of everything there. Keith Freeman, Team Ghostly. You'll find this interview here. It'll, have, it'll be connected no. through your, your channel, all right. that. I'm on all that, man. So right. just just go to the website, man. They say it's all about numbers, you know what right. I mean, in this day and age yeah. and all of this stuff. You know, when you want to deal with investors and stuff like that, they want to see proof of concept. They want to see numbers. So, you know, let's 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 get my website traffic up, you know what yeah. I mean, and stuff Run like that. Run the numbers up. <laughs> Team if, I got a, if I got like 4,000 yes, followers, like everybody could go to YouTube and just subscribe to the channel. You dig what I'm saying? Go just subscribe. It don't cost you nothing. Uh, Go show some love, man. TeamGhostly.com. Yeah, TeamGhostly.com, man. And we'll be right back with more of the CEO Row experience right after we spin and show this love to these underground artists, baby. Keith's gon' stop, nigga, fuck no. You niggas had the rock and got a punt, though. I be playing the back, I'm in front, though. 
It's my turn now. Uh. When I walk in the spot, it's time to burn down. Yeah. Hot shit for your head, I'm giving perms down. You motherfuckers ain't know you gonna learn now. Go. Coming from a cold place, where most shit go down is a cold case. Yeah. Where your homie turn out to be a cold fake. And you gotta get skinny when you hold weight. Living in the Wild West, plenty of reasons for the mess, so it's complex. Keys by the drop, that's the bomb threat. Here to get you niggas switching up your mindset. It's all that I know, I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. It's all that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, all that I know, all that I know. It's all that I know, I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. It's all that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, all that I know, all that I know. I'm nothing to fuck with, shout out the woo. If you don't get it, then shout out to you. Can't do it myself, so shout out the crew. Ain't never had shit, so it's one thing to do. And all that I do, you know that it's true. I keep it a hundred, yeah, nothing is food. I stand on my two, no busting to you. You fuck with me then, then nothing is new. I'm back on my cure shit, but added some kick down the door shit. I don't get mine, watch the floor flip. Cause all of my life I was poor, bitch. Damn, fed up being slept on. Bet against me to your check gone. I swear I won't stop till my breath gone. And I'm back with my mind with the shit. Yeah. It's all that I know, I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. It's all that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, so I'm gon' get it, it's all that I know. All that I know, all that I know, all that I know, I'm gon' get it. Coming in heavy, coming in ready, ready. Bitches be new to spaghetti, niggas be new to spaghetti. If I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, petty. If I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, bitch. I ain't gonna trip off a week, bitch. I ain't a C and don't speak, bitch. My name AB, AB, yeah, but I've been on some G shit. Rain on me, gang with me. Bad little bitch with a thing on me. And I keep a price and a thing for free. Bitches want advice, but don't hang with me. Keep all them clowns away. Keep all them Benjamins coming. I don't do no running, I'm coming. I'm draining the pipe like I'm plumbing. These niggas ain't straight, but they dumping. I walk in the building, shit start jumping. Thinking I'm down, but I'm up to something. I'm really up to something. Say that it's up, it's nothing. These bitches be faking and fronting. Bitches be reaching and hunting. Looking for something to say. Looking to be in my way. Running their mouth and talking that shit. Bitches is ready to play. Coming in heavy. Coming in ready, ready. Bitches be new to spaghetti. Niggas be new to spaghetti. If I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, petty. If I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, bitch. When I pop my shit, call me busy. These bitches is making it easy. These bitches know they don't intrigue me. These bitches they wanting to be me. Stop it. Bitches know why I'm the topic. Niggas they calling me toxic. But I'm still getting my box lit. Yeah, we outside. Niggas is buying a pet ride. Bitches is coming with ass out. This is the club in the trap house. Hey. Stacks out, bottles and strippers is cash out. Trash bags when she cash out. Baby keep running her damn mouth. No, niggas be broke. He is not tipping cause he is a joke. Dick too small, can't fit in my throat. Niggas wanna fuck on me cause I'm gold. Bitches wanna be like me, they joke. Bitches wanna fuck my man, they bro. A B too hot, I'm cold. One thing about me, a bitch don't fold. Coming in heavy. Coming in ready, ready. Niggas be new to spaghetti. Bitches be new to spaghetti. When I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, petty. If I come in there mad, I'ma come in my bag. I'm coming in petty, bitch. Streets cause they froze me. Uh, corner boy, please get out the corner. Out the when corner. they squeezing you leave, who gon' raise your daughter? Oh, Love your baby mama in the cold. That shit is old. Nothing young and dying in the fold. It's untold. Yeah. The new ratchet come with fresh casket. Your favorite aunt put together flower, fresh basket. The fish fry for your folks, you know 
family matters. The money boys coming too, and they bring them ladders. They made a plan to spin a block, leave them niggas flat. Even the kids got switches, letting people have it. If somebody clip them, it'll be tragic. You know the cycle never ends, it's gonna keep happening. So, corner boy, please get out the corner. When they squeezing you, leave, who can raise your daughter? You left your baby mama in the cold, that shit is old. Nothing young and dying in the fold is untold. I remember when me and Hami used to talk. We would talk about the game and he would ask me what I thought. And I said it needed change. And that's exactly what I brought. But let me take you back a little bit. Right back to the dungeon. We was broken. We ain't had shit. Couldn't pay for nothing. We had dreams of being mad rich. Hit the city stuntin' as of right now. We just average. Gotta think of something. So I hit my nigga King. Man, he told us about a lick. Said it was a sure thing. Once we hit it, we'll be rich. Yeah, that's it. Took the team. So we went and got the blitz. So we went and pulled the sting. Get turned out to be a miss. Shit. So we back on Kershaw. Sure. K block. Right back where we started with my all. Day ones, cause that's where I started, nigga Uh, cause every time that I record And I just think about my dogs And I always do it for them, yeah Corner boy, please stay off the corner When they squeezing you leave, who gon' raise your daughter? You left your baby mama in the cold That shit is old Another young ain't dying in the fold It's untold, yeah Three of my homies died I done lost so many, don't think I'm gonna cry But this the life we chose No, I didn't, but it chose me I keep the heat on the streets Cause it froze me uh. Corner boy, please stay off the corner Not many of my friends, kids I lost their father soon Retaliations, whispers saying, do them. And if you get caught slipping, they slide and they might be plotting on you. Like kickboxing and slap, I hate the soccer team. Niggas won't give you the answer, say you the problem to them. Lost six folks in seven months, this shit is stupid. Fuck them niggas telling you to do it. Your mindset thinking different, do it. I know the struggle, young and I've been through it. I lost my mind, I got it back and through it. To myself, I'm living life above the rim, just cooling. I know niggas shooting. Look, the corner made me understand the love I gotta give. Cold show to keep the fans safe, not cause I don't care. I make your stories every day. If you my man, because I care. I don't come around for nothing when I ain't got shit to give. For the haters got guns, I used to sit out there in bed. And now I don't sit inside cars around there. Pride made us famous, but the homies that I miss ain't worth the shit. Money ain't worth the lick. Dumb little bum, you just make Birkin rich. If I could have them back, I probably wouldn't never trip. If I could have them back, I probably wouldn't. And then spit right. That right there's some shit Niggas know that means some shit Corner boy, please stay off the corner When they squeezing you leave Who gon' raise your daughter? You left your baby mama in the cold This shit is old Never young and dying in the fold It's untold uh, Four of my homies died I done lost so many Don't think I'm gon' cry Shit, this the life we chose No, I didn't, but it chose me I keep that heat on the streets Cause it Uh And we back with the CEO Row Experience. We got my special guest, Keith Freeman. And we got my co-host, Out of Pocket, kicking it with us today. Yo, yo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keith. Yep. What's up, man? Let the people know what you got going on for 2023, baby. Which, 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 what can we look forward to this year from Keith Freeman? Um, well, first and foremost is, you know, I'm restocking on the merch. So, like I said, TeamGoSleep.com, getting the merch back rolling. Want to definitely uh, stay consistent with that. Um, as an artist, you want to you want to keep merchandise in stock and rolling. You know what I'm saying? That's how people really support it's you. Very important, yes, sir. For Talk sure, about that for sure. They people want to support a brand. They want to be a part of something. They want to feel like they're a part of something and support something. They want to be able to represent. You know, the same way they, you would your sports team right. or, or whatever the case is. So um, I want to keep the merch rolling. Um, I also, I'm going to tap into doing a virtual concert. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of streaming this year, uh, which has been, it's, it's, it's also lucrative. So uh, besides that, it's, a, it's another way to build um, and that basically build a more of a fan base and network with more people, different people across the world, opposed to just on Instagram or Facebook, like, you know, like, from my experience, like you go live on Instagram or Facebook, you get your people who are stopping, you know, say what's up or whatever, and then you know they off, 
and they, you know, they go on about their business. But on, on these streaming apps, you actually have people who, who, who actually sit there and they there for hours with you, busting it up with you, you know what I'm saying? And, and then, you know, people are constantly coming in and out of these live rooms and stuff like that. And you build and you network and you actually start building a tribe and stuff like that. So I'm I, with doing that. I'm 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 I caught a crazy idea to do a virtual concert because these people are all across the world. Right. You know what I mean? Different states and different countries. You know what I mean? And I'm playing my music on these streams and they, they, they you know, they liking it and stuff like that. And I'm telling them, you know, I do a virtual concert. Would y'all come? And, you know, it's it's the, you know, it's like taking a survey. And, and and it's a lot of it's a lot of good feedback. A lot of people would they basically waiting for me to do it. I would like so, to be a part of that. Yeah. The CEO Row Experience and the CEO Productions LC would like let's, to be a part of that. Let's do it, man. I got some ideas. We'll that, talk off yeah, camera. Say no more. But I would say love, no more. We, would, we would love to be a part of that, brother. For sure. I see the for vision. Sure. For I sure. I think that's very dope. And I'll do it like, you know, I'll have it in a, a nice setting where it's no, they're, you know, they're getting a high quality, high definition audio and video you know, performance and stuff like that. So, you know, that's, that's, that's something I'm working on. And, you know, of course, the new music, um, getting back in the studio. Um, okay. It's, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot of stuff that I'm, that I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to use my, my, my likeness more. You right. know what I mean? Um, as far as brand. Yeah, you're a likable guy. You know what I mean? I, sh- sh- to each his own. To you know how that own. go. Got you me. know, to each his own. But, um, just, just, just as far as like working with other brands, you know what I mean? Even if it's, you know, promoting other brands, modeling for other brands. My mom always wanted me to, like, do modeling and stuff like that. But yeah. growing up where I grew up at and being light-skinned, it's like yeah. the last thing yeah. I want to do is be trying to model. Yeah. Mom, right. Like, right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, but right, as you right. get older and you mature and you see, you know, as a part of business, it's something yeah. that, you know, your looks, look, looks pay. You right. know what I'm saying? Looks pay. So that's another thing that I'm, you know, I'm going to try to get into more this year. So um I'm 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 just grinding, man. I'm grinding, bro. It sounds good, baby. It grinding. all sounds good. And anything that we can do to support you, you dig what I'm saying? We you know, we'll we'll definitely back you. You dig what I'm saying? Well, just let it's, us called know. Push, it's called the push through, see, and, and you know, like again, once again, man, it's it's about just first of all you gotta find out where you at in this time. You know, cause sometimes you might get to the point where you be like, No, nah, I ain't I'm a chill for a minute, I ain't doing that right now. I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to do that. And a lot of times it's about timing, right? And it's about accuracy. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you got to move when needed to move. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you got to back up when you need to back up. Mm-hmm. And some people will move even when, when they got to back up. And you can be moving forward that you crash. So, like, a lot of times, you, and you can burn yourself out. And that's why you got to find, find out, you got to find that mood to be able to do the rapping, right? You gotta find that mood to do the even the writing, and you gotta find the mood to even figure out what kind of substance you want to put to what I'm got what you what your thoughts is. So and, and sometimes it get be, it can be hard. I, I know that it could be hard, but like this year, I I learned how all the mistakes I made last year because I made a lot of mistakes. I'm, I pushed forward a lot, but I made a lot of mistakes that I don't want to make again. It's called learning from your mistakes. So this year. I used to didn't write stuff down. I want to start writing stuff down, learn how to write stuff down, what I want to do, what I want to accomplish. I didn't know how deep that really meant something because if you don't write it down, you can lose focus on what you had written on the paper. And you can forget what line you had to wrote. That's just like if anybody went to do a movie joint. If you forget your lines, you don't know the line. You don't know the line. So how does Keith so how does Keith um manage, you know, his his day to day or manage his career? As far as it goes, as Keith Freeman, the artist. Bro, um, starting this year, like I'm really like, I gave myself a clean slate because, like you, like like he said, like I'm, bro, I'm burning myself out. I'm talking grinding from, you know, door dashing, working the part time job, like like bro, I, I you, I don't know if you know this, bro. Like I haven't even been around like that, bro. Yeah. Like I don't even know if some like like I honestly the type of person I am. I, I'm hoping and feel like some of the some of the bros don't feel like like I'm on some type time because I've been really MIA because I've been trying to grind and work so hard like you know what I'm saying and me and my pop me and him are getting reestablished now because it's a new life for 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 him 
you know what I'm saying, without my mom here moving into a new spot and stuff like that. So, like, I've really been, like you said, burning myself out. Right. I haven't even been able to take time to be at shows or, or be at the station, you know what I'm saying, or be at the studio, you right. know what I mean? So, um, just, like, like, what you just said made so much sense and just finding the right move and the right time for the rap, like writing stuff down. That's why my book bag is over there. I got books in there, my daily planner, where now I'm trying to write down these these goals for the day, the goals for the week, you know what I'm saying, breaking it down day by day, week by week. So yeah, it um, works. I, I can't even tell you how I'm doing it. I'm, 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 doing I'm, it. I'm, I'm trying to do it now. No um, I'm in the process of doing it. Working yeah. on it. And you sure. know, saw that matters. You know what else is another deep part is like that, that I had to learn to start doing it. We learn to find the people that's, that need us like we need them. Yeah. See, and a lot of times, we be with people that don't need us, but we pretend that they need us. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, it, and it messes up mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm learning how to, like like the, like the day I had to do, uh, I'm doing a uh, Valentine's karaoke at Ocean Crab for Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. where everybody can come. We do, we're going to have a DJ there, karaoke. At Ocean Crabs, while you cracking crabs, bustle, eating mussels, mm-hmm. you know, breaking it down, you know, snow crabs, so forth and so forth. So, even with the flyer, I got a person that's my flyer girl. Whenever I need a flyer, all I got to do is write my thoughts down, send that over, you handle the flyer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a few parties. Again. I'm just putting people in the right position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Without putting too much on them, because sometimes if you find people that work together, you know what I'm saying? It becomes easier for what your job is, cause your job is to get to this, get to this stage. Mm-hmm. Let let us do the promotion. Yeah. Let us yeah. do what we got. Let us do our job. Our mm-hmm. job is to get to promotion. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. You just get there and do what you do on the thing, man, and touch the people's hearts, man. That, and, and that's why I'm just trying to learn how to make make Ooh, it easy. I swear, learn I can how to dig make it. it easy. I can dig that. Like you know, just to put a little spin on it, just to organize and delegate a certain responsibilities to those that will allow you to focus on being an artist. You know what I'm saying? We I understand that you're still a part of the merchandising, but again, you know, we have to delegate certain responsibilities as we become busy. You feel me? So that way that the engine continues to run. You know what I mean? It's not easy. It's not easy. You know what I mean? Because people, you have to take accountability and be dependable, and that's not easy to find in people, especially if they're not getting paid a lot of money up front. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm trying so hard find those people, and sometimes I think I found them, and then it, like, it's... I, I'm trying. I, I, listen, like, listen. I, you talking to CEO Row? <laughs> listen, I know I got plenty of experiences of dealing with people that I thought and felt that we're gonna. You know what I'm saying? And it just doesn't work out. You know what I mean? Because everybody doesn't have the same vision as you. Every, you know, people have ulterior motives a lot of times. They want to get with you for your likeness. You know what I mean? So that they can capitalize off your ideas and your likeness. You know what I mean? They're not really there to actually invest in what your vision is and what they signed up for. You feel what I'm saying? They would rather much so, let me see what I can get off of this individual or get out of this individual. You know what I mean? So it, I understand that it is hard. You know what I mean? Even when dealing with my cleaning business, it's, you can't just hire anybody because I got to be able to trust that when I'm not around, you're, doing, you're, you're, you're keeping the standard of, of the business. You feel what I'm saying? You're not stealing. You're not doing a half-assed job. You feel what I'm saying? So it, it works in every in every category. You have to be organized, and you have to make sure that the people that you choose to have a part of your situation are solid. You know what I mean? And if they not, they got to go. You know. Yep. You know what? I, you, uh, another piece of the puzzle, like that, I learned. Right? See, we need people out here nowadays that don't think the way other people think. You know, because I always tell the people that sometimes people got a bad habit of thinking that everybody has common sense. Your common sense is not my common sense. And my thing is, like, somebody got to be the superhero out this joint. Even though people don't know no better than this, you just got to know how to put people in the right. The right. People going to make mistakes. You got different people you can hire. Just because he dropped a, 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 a pitch on the floor, that, don't, that, mean you're, no, that means he need to be somewhere because he's a little clumsy. He need to be in the kitchen. So we got to learn how to put people in the position and where they need to be at certain times. Because sometimes we might got the people in the wrong position. You know what I'm saying? But they good somewhere else. 
You know what I mean? But we, like, you got people out here looking for jobs, right? That they professional at different joints, but they can't get hired at them jobs, so they got to go take a house cleaning job. They got to go take a family a first job. They got to go take when, he, when they got other talents. The talent. I, I, I hear you, Jim. I hear you. But me, like I said, I deal with a lot of people. And, and I'm not saying I wasn't shooting at you. I'm not saying that what you're saying is wrong, but what I'm saying more or less is people. A lot of people don't have a good work ethic. A lot of fact. people expect to come what to work saying? and get paid to do nothing. Nothing. Right. At all. You get what I'm saying? Security and I, that's guard. what I'm saying from the experience of being who I am and dealing with a lot of people that I don't know. You feel me? And sometimes even dealing with people you do know. You know. So it's it's like yeah you can put them somewhere else but why risk you already showed me you would fuck me over once I know you're going to fuck me over again I really ain't got time for that because it's about upholding the standard so that we can get this money You know what I mean you want to get paid I want to get paid you know what I'm saying so at the end of the day certain mistakes we just can't make at a certain age just, It's called being a professional But but I I only share that because I've made mistakes as people gave me a second chance I'm not going against what you're saying some people need to go Right. Yes, but I'm saying the people that if, if 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 a person's not willing to learn from his mistake, that's the one should go. All right, so all right, so let me let me give you a scenario. Let me yeah, put the scenario, scenario out there. You you have a business. You have a small business. Right. You have a small thriving business. It's on an up and coming. You know right. what I'm saying? And you're hiring. You hire someone. You know you showed you started them out. You clean with them so that you show them the standard of this is what you need to do when you do this. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody swears they know how to clean. You know what I mean? Um, so you do all this, so you're doing this, you're training this individual like any business would do, so that when you're not around, they can continue to function without you not being around Ain't at no a doubt. standard, right? Ain't no doubt. So for the time that you were training this individual, you would tell them over and over again certain things to do and certain things not to do. Right. You know why? Because you're the OG in the game. You've been there, done that. You know how this shit runs. Right. right. So you know the type of trials and tribulations and challenges that people may face working in this industry. All day. Right? So through you doing all this, boom, they go through training, they come, and they, and they uh, let's say, for instance, I'll give you a prime example. I'll give you an example. I have a situation. So I was cleaning in the store, Alta. It's a makeup store uh, for women, and I had every, two people to clean it. So every day, or like three days out the week, we would clean it. Um, and we cleaned it from... Um, 8 to 11, right? On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right? And every day I would pick them up and I would tell them, I would have this talk with them, please do not touch anything. If anything falls, you don't got to pick it up. You dig what I'm saying? Because I knew what we were dealing with. Uh, to me, which was be like a lot of Karens. You dig what I'm saying? I understood that um, you know, we'd be watching with black. And then most of the time, I would be sitting down with my laptop. They didn't like that. So I knew that they were watching. So I said, you know, basically don't touch anything. If anything fall, blah, 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 just leave it there, let me know, and then we'll, I'll pick it up and we'll take care of it. So we cleaning one day. You know, we take, I take them up, we're cleaning. Out of nowhere, you hear an alarm go off. And the first thing that, you know, the individual said was, I'm not trying to steal anything. You dig what I'm saying? To make it worse. <laughs> so at the end of the day, and I'm telling you this because now from that, what transpired after that, because every action has a consequence. So like I said, I'm working around a lot of Karens. It's before their store opens up. You dig what I'm saying? So first thing you know she's going to do is she's going to go back and watch the camera. And then she's going to call and talk to the people that I got the contract through. And guess who gives me a call telling me that what happened and I need to take care of that. So, I mean, aside from if I wanted to keep me here, you could put him on another job if that's what you chose to do. Right. But they're, they're, everybody else that's above management is going to say fire him yeah. or fire her or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I truly understand. That's that's beautiful. See, but what I was he said really that's like, beautiful. What I was really that I, wasn't beautiful. Yeah. Actually, that was some nut ass shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and, and he knew. Like no, I wanted to choke him, and I couldn't is, handle it like that. No, you feel me? No, but what I was basically saying is, from a human human mind mind thought of looking at it different. Like last year, I told you I had a lot of stuff going on last year. So I, I dealt with a lot of people last year. We dealt with so many different this that 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 this that and third. I don't want to deal with the foolishness from last year to this year. So I know who was who, who, who was what, who was beneficial, who can help, who would do that from last year. So I'm starting my new year off like this is. That's why I said I called the girl that I knew could do the uh, 
the flyers. You got more organized. Right. It's you about need organiz- organization that's the and you best. need structure in your business. CEO role. CEO role, you know. I yeah, got his back. He, yeah, he's riding. So <laughs> what I'm saying is now you you, you handpick the people from la- from who you love, who you know, last year, and start putting them in the place. Call and just have a conversation. Yo, what you think about now I'm running things by people. I ain't got to hold it in. And certain people get to hear what I'm trying. What, what you think about this? Some people want gonna try to change your thought. What you think about? But you only really ask them because you want to know your vision. So I know if oh you don't need to be there. Okay, no problem. I gotta go to this. So you gotta. So I'm asking people. And the thing now is, if I seen you do something last year that could be beneficial to help you, me, the community, my brother, my sister, my cousin, the, everybody out here, let's do it. You know, I got tax. I I, I, I talk to the ta- income tax. I got so many different income tax people that. That I talk to, that is a shame. Look, man, if you bring, but well, that ain't what I'm trying to do. When I'm, when I go in there and try to do, I try to just build relationships with people. So if I can help you push your business, you know what I'm saying? You got people all up and down 52nd Street. We're trying to look for people that we can help advertise and push their platform and push their business. You know what I'm saying? And a lot, a lot of people, they don't have that out here. They don't have people coming in and saying, "Damn, you know, I'm not trying to come with a gimmick. I'm not trying to this, this, and third, and." This. Now, we know sometimes we're going to need a couple of dollars, a donation. Sure. See, we need a few donations. We're not asking for nothing, but donations are well accepted. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going. So when we go in here and we talk to these people and we give them that, that's how we learn to take this shit into 2023 different than how we did last year. Because the people out here is looking for somebody to give it to them different than they gave it to them last year without the fraudulent shit. Your pain in music. Well, that's why they tuning into the CEO Row Experience. All day. Every motherfucking week. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm day. saying? So they can get the real yeah, and up and close and personal the with the motherfucking uh, people ghostly. that's shape, moving and shaking Dude, out here, baby. If, you, if, we, if we support Team Ghostly. Well, that's what it's all about. That's another thing I was about to get to, man. Yeah. We need that. But everything you said is correct. But yeah. that's what we're doing. That's why we got my man Keith Freeman on deck. That's why we're here to support Team Ghostly. You know what I'm saying? And anything that we can do to bridge the gap, to get some motherfucking money, or to reach the people, you know what I'm saying? We with it. You feel what I'm saying? And I cut hair. Team Ghostly. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, cut hair. Right. You see me? All yeah, right. I need, you see me? Did you see I me? Did, some work. did you see me cut that bull hair today? No. That little young boy that just left? Uh-uh. Oh, dang. Oh, I thought you were when oh, I Oh, man, listen. We ain't got time to be straight. Man, you listen. <laughs> I definitely what the f- you see me. Hey, listen. I need my cut. Right. Listen, man. Listen, getting back to Keisha, this bull over here is a piece of <laughs> motherfucking work. I got to promote what listen, I do right along. Listen, no, listen, listen. You can promote what you do. I'll make your presence felt. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. Listen, listen. What the fuck? Listen, listen. Listen, what the fuck? He you know said make your presence felt out of pocket. Make your presence felt. Out of pocket making my present felt with Team Ghostly, ahead, baby. Bro, That's what I we do. Ahead, I ain't mad Pop Fly Records, Home Listen, Base. Pop Fly Records Entertainment, man. Did I do it right? Yes, sir. There ain't no doubt. All right, man. So you got motherfucking out of pocket, man. He didn't sat there and sponsored everything that you need to know about him. I hope you caught on to it. Make sure you check him out on Instagram at Jimmy Townsend. Jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y dot Townsend. You dig what I'm saying? We got to get him more involved into the situation, man. He be acting like an old man when it comes to We want to catch him up, though. You dig what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we got my man Keith Freeman here. He on deck. He's showing us love, man. Keith, man, what's your favorite song off the one album? Uh, it's one to be free, yo. It's one to be free, bro. Like, it's it's one to be free. Like, that's just the song for me, man. Like, real something. It's damn one first thing in the morning, bro. Like, like. It's not cause it's me, bro. Okay. Like it's, it okay. ain't. I'm. I could be honest, bro. It, it ain't even cause it's me. Okay. It's be like when you hear the song, it's just like, damn. First thing in the morning, bro. Like, yeah, I need that. Mm-hmm. Sure. Who don't want to be free? Hey, you feel me? He ain't yeah. even heard the song. Who yet. don't want to be free? That's what I'm That's saying. What I'm saying. Yeah. At the four hundred some years. <laughs> this bull right here, man. Don't be a slave. Don't be a slave. <laughs> At all. You know what I'm saying? In no kind of way. Make sure you free yourself, man. I want to be free too, man. I can't wait. That's the drink you're going to be doing at the end of the show, correct? Yes, sir. So I can't wait to catch that performance. So make sure you stay tuned, you know what I'm saying, for the Keys Freeman performance at the end of the CEO Row experience. I got my man out of pocket. Out of pocket is out of pocket. Without a doubt. I got my motherfucking special guest, Keys Freeman, in the building. You know what I'm saying? Shouts yeah. out to... yeah. Shouts out to my man Tour in the background, National Underground Radio. We in the building. 
You dig what I'm saying? We got a lot going on for 2023. Hopefully, we're going to get Keith. Keith Freeman will be performing at Poets and Laughter yes, as well. Yes, February, indeed. Saturday, February 25th. Yes, indeed. Keith Freeman will be in the building. You dig what I'm saying? So make sure you get your tickets. Tickets are $20. Again, Saturday, February 25th. You dig what I'm saying? So, Ke so Keith. Is there anybody that you would like to collab with this year? Like, is there anybody you would you like? Damn, I would really like to get in the in the studio and and create some magic with that person. Um, well, for sure. Uh, like you said, the uh, like Del P. I just who I just shout out with, to Del P. And me and Del. Uh, that's 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 my dog, man. He just called me the other day. The um, they put me on another opportunity. So he always looks out for me, man. And he already said, he said months ago, he got me. It's just, again, it's just up to me. I want to make sure I got everything right on my end that no when doubt. I invite somebody so you, who yeah. I look at that got they stuff together. Right. So you can carry it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No so um, definitely Dell. Uh, um, after meeting Petey, I ain't gonna lie, and I would I would love to work with Petey, bro. Like the energy he gave me, the vibe he gave me, that he gravitated to my music. He heard me, you know what I'm saying, and I didn't take it no type of, you know, you know, no type of like big headed way or nothing like right. that. You know, you see me like right. it's just a matter of looking at it like, damn, these are people that I. I was a kid listening to these people, you know what I'm saying. Again, never looking at myself as a rapper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So then to be able to share the stage with them, you know what I That's mean? That's awesome. It's, 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 it's mind-blowing. So right. it's like, you know, after meeting them and knowing the kind of artist he is, he's an artist who actually has substance. He can talk about something. So, right. you know, I will, you know, I wouldn't mind. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm so out the loop. You out the loop. I'm is there so any females you would like? You wouldn't, any females you would oh, like to God. collab with? Like, locally? It don't like matter. Big, Just in general. Oh, big, oh wanna, okay. If you so, would like to reach, like, I mean, whatever. Like, her? Yeah. Is, I'm a big fan of her. Okay. And I, 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 I caught on to her about, like, like two years ago. Um, I'm a big fan of her, man. I feel like she's lyrically, like, she gives me, like, uh, uh, like Lauren Hill kind of vibes, okay. kind of you okay. know what I mean. She gives okay. me like a newer Lauren Hill kind of vibe. So uh, like, just her substance and her music, I, I would love to do a song with her. Um, uh, and 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 I mean, since we not, you know, put no limits to it. I mean, like like Cole, I would love to do a song with Cole. Okay. Um, okay. he's somebody that I listen to also for At motivation. J. Cole. To, uh, to get myself together before I start writing my own music. Um, and it's crazy. I just seen a post on, um, I think it was the boardroom's Instagram on how much he charged a verse. And it's like... <laughs> crazy. It's like, a you, th I'm hundred th it's like a hundred something thousand a word or some shit listen, like that. Like, it's oh, crazy. man, that's that's crazy. Well, listen, right? We're going to hold that. Rihanna. We're going to hold that real quick. We're going to go ahead and we're going to jump back into these songs so we can go ahead and pay these bills and show some love, man. Again, yeah. before we do that, make sure if you want to sponsor or if you would like to see your business sponsored or advertised on this business, holla at me at CEO Row Experience. We'll be, we'll be back with more of the CEO Row Experience in one moment. Peace. We'll be back. Like a free 
When you get it from the muscle, then you really flexing. Boots on the ground, yeah, I be really stepping. They say my music is a blessing, I be really rapping. I just always seem to find a way when it come to pressure. Huh. Get your mind right, then you get your grind right. Cause life is mostly mental, things that happen when the time right. Don't believe me now, no okay. You'll see in hindsight, you niggas play sloppy, I'm sharp like it's prime night. Back to the basics, when confusion start to set in. This is for the real ones that the game never let in. They go for the presence, don't you worry, here I come. I'm weaving through the matrix, can't you see I'm the one? Back to the basics, when confusion start to set in. This is for the real ones that the game never let in. They gon' feel the presence, don't you worry, here I come. I'm weaving through the matrix, can't you see I'm the one? I'm with the game need, you gotta understand me. A lot of people won't till they see me at the Grammys. Waves all flowing while I'm shouting out the family. They say I think I'm the shit, and that's why they can't stand me. Well, when you lit, they gon' have a fit. I'm just out here on my grind, trying to make a hit. And put your hands up in the air like I made the kick. I'm the one who checked all of the boxes if you gave a list. Uh, Somebody who was made to spit So everybody should get down like I'm waving it Should I bring my A-game? I ain't the one to be playing with I should be your favorite Back to the basics when confusion start to set in This is for the real ones that the game never let in They go for the presence, don't you worry, here I come I'm weaving through the matrix, can't you see I'm the one Back to the basics when confusion start to set in This is for the real ones that the game never let in They go for the presence, don't you worry, here I come I'm weaving through the matrix, can't you see I'm the one Hey, girl. Hey, it's the office. It's so undescribable. <laughs> yes, yeah, so undeniable. I try not to let it show. It just has this certain effect on me. 
And of course, we're back with more of the CEO Row experience. If you don't know, I am your boy, CEO Row. I have my special guest, Keith Freeman. I have my co host, yeah. Out of Pocket. And we representing the man today for my man, Keith Freeman, and Team Ghostly. You know what I mean? We in the building, baby. Appreciate it, man. No doubt, I'm man. Have, you, I had a great time thus far, man. Man, I we appreciate, appreciate having you. You have great energy, been a great conversation thus far. You dig me? So, I know for all the people or all the women that's out there, because you know a lot of women follow me. They they starting to follow out of pocket, too. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows a lot about bundles. You know what I'm saying? You better know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My name is Bundle Man. <laughs> dig what I'm saying? So, I'm sure they want to know is, what's up, what's up with Keith Freeman? Keith Freeman got a girl. Keith Freeman oh, single. Oh, bro. Keith Free is single, man. Single. Is Keith Freeman looking or is Keith Freeman playing? Is he tricking? What is he doing? Ain't nothing wrong I, with buying bundles. Ain't nothing wrong with buying bundles if you got it. Yeah, I you ain't know. gonna lie. But, I listen. But? Bro, so look, I was in a 10-year relationship, man. Ooh, I was in a 10-year relationship. That's a long-ass relationship, brother. I was in a 10-year relationship, man. Okay. Got uh, got out of it. No kids. No Um... So, uh, yeah, like, and I did, you know, you know, within those 10 years, of course, I still did my dibbling, dabbling, right? But as y'all would know, it's it's a difference when you meet in different people to just do that opposed to now 
me being single mm-hmm. and I'm actually really trying to get to know these women, mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. kind of lost out here, bro. Ooh. Like I feel, I feel, I feel lost. That is honesty, bit, right? I feel lost. Out, cause I would say if you get with the right woman, she will guide you. Mm. If you're open and honest with her about that and you want to grow in that aspect, mm-hmm. a real sister, a real woman would nurture that. She wouldn't she wouldn't take advantage of that and you would then learn how to. Where we find her? <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for her, she 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 will be there. I mean, you gotta look for her. Where they at? They ain't, they ain't even in the church. They ain't even in the church no more. You talking about where they at? This is the bundle man. They ain't even in the church. No yeah, more. I mean, it's the bundle man. He buy all the bundles. That's what they want, and that's yeah, what I be. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that's. Jake, I'm lost because if you ain't got bro. bundle money. You can forget it. <laughs> you, you feel it? You won't buy bundles. You won't buy lashes. You won't buy nails. You won't buy no the the, the food the, the boots that come up to here, you know. Oh, look, man, it ain't gonna work. You you only did you only did for a brief moment. What you mean yeah, the boot that yeah. come up in here, dog? The thigh high boot no they like to wear. You know the brief boots moment. they wear up here gotta come up here, and, oh, they, and man. then they got their Gucci belt. You, you know they Gucci belt on the champion and all it. If you can't get none of that, you can forget it. Am I lying? No cat. Okay. You can't that's, just be seafood man. Go stop and get a you know a sh- a couple. You can't of just snow go crabs. get a platter. You gotta. Not no more. You Not gotta be the gonna, platter gang. You gonna Not buy no snow crabs and you talk gotta, about you can have it. What, what, right. kind of, what kind of that sauce get on it? Is what's that? The, uh, garlic uh, butter. Yeah, a garlic butter sauce, uh, a snow crab, mm-hmm. and, and, and here, here I got an A for you. Mm-hmm. You can't and, and think that she's gonna be a good girl. You can forget it. Get it. You can forget it. Says out of pocket. You forget it. Snow crab in the eighth. That ain't gonna do it. Tell you, man. You can forget it, nah, man. It's, it's, it's definitely. So you having trust different. issues, Keith? Not, no, it's not even the trust issues. It's more so like, just. I gotta get my weed up. Just learning how to like, like, I like our. Right, so, I wasn't dating when I was messing around. You right, get what so I'm you got to get back out there. So now, like, I'm actually trying to date, and it's like you try to get to know people. You try to be like, it's 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 wicked, man. It's 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 wicked, man. Like one of the things, like he said, if you ain't got bundle money, you ain't gonna be around long. If you ain't got bundle money, you ain't gonna be around long. That's funny when you shit. Was, when you was in a relationship, right? Yeah. It was working out better with the girls when you was in the relationship. Yes. Yes, it was much easier. Right. It was much easier. It was right. much easier, bro. Because they wanted what she what was at home. They wanted to try to replace her at home. And then while, and along with doing it, once she's gone, everybody gone. Because nobody replaced. So do you think maybe that you not... So, so <laughs> what I done did wrong, OJ? <laughs> <laughs> you should be a fool. You might well keep the... The, the one, at least you had more. And, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to recoup one. Don't take that one because back, Because I'm though. not, no, she didn't have a baby and everything. Oh, yeah, that's dead. She can forget it. Yeah, so I'm trying to recoup that and find mine. And and not, like, just out there looking every day for one, right, but right. really taking the time out now, not being on no, all right, let me just get a quick jump, you know what I mean, and then yeah. whatever, whatever. Like, now I'm really trying to. All right, let me actually get to know her. Yeah. Try to get to know her a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Try to actually date yeah, court if her. You, if you don't want to get to know her, they got a Chinese spot downtown. You, down there, you just he try to send them to the happy ending yeah, spot. Yeah, you go to the Chinese. <laughs> hey, yo. If, I'm saying if you don't need yo, no strings attached. Yo, he tried a happy ending. <laughs> nef, no, nef. No strings <laughs> attached, right? When, it, when, when you just don't want to be bothered. Because sometimes <laughs> we don't want to be bothered. He tried to send him to the happy ending spot. You don't got to. It do. seemed like when I don't want to be bothered, that's when I find a good one. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You can catch out of out of pocket at the happy ending that's spot. That's funny as when shit. When you don't want to be bothered, here they come. But listen, that's that's just that's how bad. it is, man. It, you know, that's how, it's, it's the one that you basically going to tolerate her shit. She worth tolerating her shit. And on advice on her end, mm-hmm. is she worth tolerating? If you worth tolerating, you know, Bozzy by her, your shit. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth it? Can I tolerate his shit? Can you tolerate her shit? Is it worth it? She got to You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't know about all the bundles and all that. It depends on what you're looking for. And that's another thing. They don't need, like, 
like I didn't came across <laughs> I didn't came across some who who like live in this world where like they not they don't want to even do that no more. Like yeah, they don't want to work. They don't want to do what they don't want to work. Like, they they want to work you. <laughs> <laughs> they want to work you enough. Like, they want to work you, I'm, man. That's I'm, what it is. It's mind blowing, bro. And that's why I say like I feel lost. Like where you ain't where lost. was I it at? Ain't just you when this happened. Like I really yo. used to be able to tell you. That's yo. just come through, watch a movie. Let's vibe. Yo, man, it ain't just you though, bro. It ain't just you. See, because listen. now they won't clean the room. They won't do dishes. They they just they just do whatever they, they want. They just want to do you and yeah. get your money. That's what now, Hey yo, Jasmine Sullivan came out with an album, a whole album about it, Hotels. Right. You dig me? So, they telling you in different settings yeah, of how they be on some yeah. shit. It's ho. If you not marrying them or being with a motherfucker genuinely for who they is, yeah. you hoeing. Okay, so that's why we go back to where I was saying 2000 and 23, this is when you do everything different than you did it last year. Yeah. See, because nowadays it's about getting yourself together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, I, it, it, I like to get everybody. Is you hoeing in 2023, Jimmy? Don't fear fraud, neither. Is you hoeing it's about in getting 2023? My, it's, it's about getting myself together. Period. Jimmy. I, I don't need to. Are know. you hoeing in 2023? Is no. you tricking? And I put it, is no. you, are you tricking? I, it's nothing wrong with going to the strip club going, watching the girls. You going to the Hellfire, Jimmy? It's nothing wrong with watching the you girls. You going to the, the Hellfire, Jimmy? Did he just I, say? I, he's I might not... leave here and go to a strip club. It's nothing wrong with watching them. What they you mean treat watching? Me. I said, are you tricking? In no, 2023? no, I'm gonna go bomb drinks. Mm. It's nothing wrong with going to the strip this club and look and and, and and do what I want to do and, and and make oh, sure they man. all right. Cause that's where it seems like they treat me better. Are you tricking? They make me feel special. They gonna make. <laughs> that's a fact. They make me feel special with no strings attached. Hey, I mean, that's what's up. That's where your happy place is. Hold on. Yeah, his happy place. Is his happy place is in at the strip club. It's what do you call? What they said it is, is spiritual animal or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Is is is, is the strip club? Did they forget what our, our song? I want to be free. Want to be free. Y'all forgot it. This boy. Yeah. He's I free in the strip club. Free, they dude. free. You gonna you get free with them in the in the, in, the, in, the, in the strip club? Yes. They treat us beautiful in the strip club. Okay. Just like when them girls go to the strip club and the guys want to be da dancing and all that. They like that. All right. They do them. We're going to do us. Mm -hmm. All right. You heard it first. Yeah. We're going to spend 51s. Mm. 50 Only ones. 50? 50. Yeah, yeah you ain't got to go 100 no yeah, more. Yeah, you ain't got to. It ain't that nice high little... no more. It ain't that high you Because they think it's another 50 behind that. Yeah. And another 50 behind that. Listen, I'm going to have to refold the 50. So, people, is it, that, is it or isn't that not tricking for 2023? No. You giving out $50 on Out drinks? of pocket, man. That's not tricking. They didn't give me nothing for that 50. I don't want nothing. I just want to feel happy. Mm, I like that. I just want to be happy. I want to be free they in the trip. They, they make you feel happy when they for get, that fifty dollars. When they get up on that on that, that 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 little stage and dance and clap clap clap, I'm cool. <laughs> what about you, friend? Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> like you said, I know strings attached. At least no I know that. Attached. At least we know what they want. And what do they want, Jimmy? You've been in there right along with me many times. Stop. I haven't been in there in a long time. And that's the last but, time I was in there. <laughs> but. They make you feel happy. What do they do for that $50? They just stand there and listen to everything I say and tell me how, no problem. How they, beautiful no, you are. No, they, you ever see coming to America when they say, whatever you like, mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever you like. And that's what, as long as they do that, I hey, got my money in my hey, hand, yo. they go like this, whatever hey, yo. you like. Well, you mean to tell me you're willing to do whatever I say? Yeah, you tricky. <laughs> and bark like a dog. You tricking with 2023, cuz. No, it doesn't hey, mean yo. tricking, man. All right, all right. You know, in Africa, people run around, they be butt naked and everything and all of that. It's yeah, yeah that's what, this is not Africa, it's my friend. It's worse in Africa. This it is, is worse. This is worse in Africa. Yo, this, Trust that me. is hilarious. There's all kinds of foolishness over here in this jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Keith, getting back to Keith Freeman. Again, thanks, thank you for coming to the CEO Row Experience yeah, again. Having a blast, man. Thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> no doubt, man. No doubt. Fucking with Out of Pocket, man. It's a good time, man, when you come on the CEO Row Experience. That's why I got my brother here, man. He keeps the vibes light, man. He keeps everybody in, in good spirits, man. Yeah. 
and we appreciate him. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like, all right. So this year we're going to be expecting to see you perform. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hear you say any other performance. Do you have any other scheduled performances this year, or not? Not yet. Do we know? Scheduled right now. Um, uh, no. Nah, besides the CEO, the, the poets, uh, the poets and laughter. Actor. It's all right. You know, I've been it's a CEO role production. It's a CEO role experience, and I was on that, and I'm about, you know, but yeah, poets and laughter, you know. And but said, besides well, that, honestly, bro, no, nothing scheduled right there and right now, and I'm gonna be transparent and honest. Um, I'm in a position now where I feel like it's got to make sense for me, man. I'm not just for just performing any and everywhere because somebody say it slides or this person is going to be there. Like, I don't expect to get paid thousands of dollars right now when I walk through or whatever the case is. I've been paid for performances or whatever, but it's about giving me as a businessman, because, again, I'm the owner of Team Ghostly, which is a brand first. It's about giving me as a businessman just an opportunity to make money as well as I come and I use, you know, my craft as a service. Whether it's I come sell merch, whether it's a ticket situation where I have the opportunity to sell tickets or even like it's been times where, you know, you know, okay, it's not a paid performance. Then they may allow me to come, you know, sell merchandise and that way I'm able to make money off the merchandise and stuff like that. Right. So um, I'm at a point now where I'm just like, I'm really not just budging for every and any opportunity. Well, I'm not going to say opportunity, but every situation, because every opportunity, you know, that's a different definition to me. <laughs> Opportunities you take advantage of. Right. But like just just every little performance, you know how it go. You know, you know, it's everything. It's something going on. You're not all trying the time. to spread yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, still so, leaving yourself to have some value. You know what I mean? Exactly. We want to see. Exactly. We want to see keys. Exactly. exactly. We want to hear keys. You exactly. dig what I'm saying? Exactly. I because, definitely um, understand. You know, putting in work. You know, as an artist, you know, we 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 pay for, you know, we whether we paying for gas, whether we paying for studio time whether we paying for promotion whether we paying to get merch made you know we 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 putting our time and our money and our efforts into it as well so you know we gotta we gotta do what makes sense for us no doubt no doubt um i wanted to ask man you um yeah i know you've been maybe listening or catching on to the situation with megan the stallion and um tory lanes uh, how do you feel about that? Do you have any? Do you have a take on that or an opinion on that situation? Of 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 basically, you know, she she's saying that she got shot, and basically them going to court and finding him guilty, and maybe saying that maybe what he was saying wasn't a hundred percent the truth, or you know, whatever the case may be. How do you feel about that? Um, I honestly can't even tell you what the what I believe because power. It's crazy in that industry and in that game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she's under a, a like a bigger label than he is. Right. More like, you know what I'm saying? Just dynamics like that. Or, you know, she she she's making she's making a lot of more people money than he is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I I like it's it's so many dynamics to it that I don't know what to believe, so I haven't you know, really dive too much into it. I just hear the the, the headlines of, of, of the story. Right. So, so what uh-huh. I'm saying is, I, I hear that. What I'm trying to get, all right, I, I'll take it a little further. So, I mean, like the actual incident. We're, we're, I'm trying to go on the morals and principles side. How do you look at things? The actual situation that took place and how it transpired, and and that leading to um, him actually being convicted and, and possibly going to jail for a long time. Like the actual act. Mm-hmm. Not not the headlines or the, the 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 whatever it stirs up the publicity that that that's feeding off, and I'm saying the actual act of him having a gun in the car with these two females, of him dealing with two friends, and mm-hmm. that transpiring into a fight, and then this leading to this. You do you dig what I'm saying? How do you see that overall? Do you have an opinion on that? How that maybe could have had be handled differently, or did you not see that he did anything wrong in that situation? As far as well, what we all uh, would know, again. I think as far as for dudes like that and again that industry is it's a it's it's just it's such a different world than what we are living 
you know what I mean? It's a lot of, like, dude, like, he could be the type of dude that think he a player, man. You know what I'm saying? And and then you get. Yeah, I know a couple. You, like, you know dudes I know like a couple, that. And they, and they play with these women. I know a couple. Like, like you, you, you got to, you, I, I, I think it was a bad situation. If you was messing with them like that. Right. That's a bad situation in itself, right, right there. That's you asked him for drum. trouble. Yeah, that was a you bad You know what drum. I mean? And then for him to, if he did do that, if he did shoot her. Well, he didn't. What, like, I, I mean, this is the thing. I don't think he, It. she didn't get shot. Like, she, there's nothing saying that she technically got shot. Like, mm-hmm. no bullet penetrated her. She got cut from the glass, That from, I guess, whenever the glass shattered from the window or whatever the case may be, okay. stepping outside. So, what I'm, what I'm in that in that aspect, she, she she's lying. There's a, it, a top, an autopsy or whatever, examiner, whatever that, that, that looked at her, she was not, she was not shot. Mm-hmm. My thing was, is where I would agree with you at, is that he, to me, it was messy with dealing with them together and having them that close. That was her girlfriend, blah, 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 him trying to be a player. You dig what I'm saying? Second of all, okay, let's say that you do that. Say that you a dickhead. You know most dudes are. You dig what I'm saying? Um, but what did you need the gun for? And what I found out from asking this question to the last guest that was on the CEO role experience, I didn't. I found out that he was already on parole or some shit like that, or pr- parole or probation. He's from Canada. He's not even supposed to have yeah, one. Yeah, and then yeah, you over here yeah. with a joint. That so like, what did you need a joint? You know what I mean? Now, 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 now. You know, I, I, I we we touched on this before, right? Mm-hmm. And, but this just made me look at it a little bit different, right? You know, uh, I look at some of the rappers nowadays, uh, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle, uh, 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 Offset, uh, it's a few rappers, uh, 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 PMB Rock, mm-hmm. we got rappers that's being murdered out this joint, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, oh, oh, just, just, just the new thing, yeah. I'm a killer rapper, whatever the case may be, chain, you know, you, it's different, so, when we see he might got a gun out, okay, yeah, with him or whatever case may be, because protection is now. You rather be caught with it than without it. I'm gonna tell you, sure. whatever. Copy, copy now, that. Well, we, we know it, it, Like I remember when, it, when, it, when, it, when it, you know, even on that Al Pacino joint with Scarface, he said that you can't blame that guy for that. It can happen to you or me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And out here nowadays, you got these people out here carrying these guns, and they they act like fools. These are the same people we trying to touch yeah. the reach and all of this yeah. stuff and that. Now, how is it that we get to a level or something like that, and then, you know, some kind of dude on some hateful stuff, man, you know, you ain't got your, you going through it some, somewhere, we just came home or whatever, and a boy it do, do the same thing. You, what, what, what you, what we going to do? We can't. But, but I, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but so we, we, don't, got, we, we don't really want to change it in that aspect. I hear what you're we, saying, you know, whether we, we be caught no. with it without it. What I'm getting at is, do you feel what that it was necessary for that joint to come out while they was in that motherfucking car fighting and arguing? If if you had your chip, no, come Jim. We, you you want to go that deep with it, and cool. I'm not knocking. You know how you feel about it. But in your did opinion. it go off, or right. did he? And no, it went off. The gun went off. It went off. That's how the glass got shattered and all that shit. The gun went off. You dig what I'm saying? But um, that's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't like it went off because it was just on your side. He had, it, it was probably brandished. You feel what I'm saying? Um, that's what I'm saying. Like. Why do you feel like that had to come out while you was in that situation? He could have, I mean, I'm just, I mean, well, I guess the only I mean, person that has the best question. answer to that, I mean, the only answer to that would be, you know, hit Tory. But at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just stating, I'm just posing a question for us to think about. Like, I know we all go through shit. I know we all do what we got to do as men and how we carry it, this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, why did the gun have to come out? I mean, is we we in that reckless niggas is really like that's no. What I was yeah, saying to you yeah. is this here. Sometimes you got to think outside the box because we from the street. We street niggas. Now sometimes you might got his gun on him. My girl uh, pitching a bitch with. I might have to try to take it, put it up, and that that go go mm-hmm. off like it. accidents mm-hmm. do happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. In, in the heat of an yeah, argument or yeah. whatever case, I might be trying to take it off and put it, put my joint up. Now, e- even though I ain't pulled to have it because I'm on parole, ain't pulled to have your gun, all that, but I'm trying, I'm just. He just put himself in a real nutty situation. Yeah, you go bottom line. Yeah. But at, the, put same time, in a real nutty at the same time, I'm willing to believe that when you're dealing with di- these women out here, 
with this head, with that mouth. Right, right. I believe We don't that. know what, what really was going on because right. we never really get the truth, especially with them stars, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Money the, talk that's bullshit the, walk yeah. with them stars. That's yeah, why yeah, yeah. I like when you said they on a whole nother level. That's why I start painting it in different ways. Yeah, it's, we never know. Never really we know. Never, know. never really know. You, you don't they, never really they know. They can pipe that thing up where yeah. you get ready to get 100 years and don't get no years. Yeah. Right. So, you know, um, again, I, I, I appreciate you coming on to the CEO Row Experience. Keith Freeman, man, it's been a pleasure, man. Anytime that you would like to come back on the CEO Row Experience, get something off your chest, drop a new album, a uh, new song, whatever you want to do, so something new going on, get have a baby, whatever the case may be, let us know. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, we can sit here and chop it up, man. With some drinks and you know, and out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, for before sure. we go we though, just let them the know. Hospitality. No doubt. Before we go again, let them know where they can find you at, brother. Teamghostly.com, Keith Freeman on all platforms, all streaming platforms, man. But go to Teamghostly.com. You can click on all the links up there from Instagram to Facebook to Twitter to TikTok to YouTube to. LinkedIn to whatever, everything that's out there, tap in on teamghostly.com, man. Let's get it. Believe that, man. If man, don't be late, man. Tap in with Keith Freeman, man. I love this guy, man. He's a good dude. He has a message. Um, before we go, man, I want to get off my shit, man. If you got it, if you would like to sponsor uh, your business um, or have your business advertised on the CEO Row Experience, please DM, DM me at CEO Row Experience. Um, if you would like to showcase your underground music um, and you would like it to play every time the CEO Row Experience comes on, you can DM me at CEO Row Experience. Um, if you would like to do a video shoot, a photo shoot, shoot a short film, um, do a commercial, holler at me, man, me and my business partner tour, CEO Productions LLC. We in full effect. You know what I'm saying? And uh, do you got anything that you want to give off to the people, bro? Yeah, uh, you just making me want to push my clothing line. What I was going to say is if you didn't get it, Go get it. Yeah, I heard that. That's my man out of pocket, man. Until next week, man. Peace and love, man. See your road experience. Oh, don't forget. I'm sorry. Before we hope, we, we got we got a performance for Keith Freeman. So don't just walk away yet. I apologize. I'm, I didn't label that off right. That's on CEO Row. But again, stay tuned for a performance by Keith Freeman. Be free. Yeah. If you didn't get it, go get it. <laughs> Yeah. I want to be free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we bring to the table. It's powerful music. Donny boy, I got you. Turn it up. Donny boy, me. We on the road to riches. The flow tremendous. Prices can't be bought or rented. Want a district. Y'all know what this is. Lyrical with song and battery. Can it took a fall. Hit to lift it up like gravity. East Coast back in me. Blue chips. I need those rapidly. Too close. I won't be no tragedy. Cool as much. Rico's after me. Spot them like personal trainers. On point like a decimal. Turn that boy to a vegetable. Fuck hot. Wake up Texas with the flow. David Koresh in the flush. I suggest you let them know. Yo. Power team, no question, we bombing things. Shining like ace class diamonds, ain't that what grinding brings, huh? Painting pictures, it's exactly how it seems. Dinner with the missus, watching paparazzi scheme. Ah, finding things, gonna get it by any means. Visions are stacking millions in Maserati dreams. Uh, born winner, I can't be defeated. I was took that sky the limit, my aim is to reach it. Till I die, 100 remaining to keep it. Don't worry if they front it, just make them believe it. Ah, when they know the serving that nope. It's a cost to be a boss, gotta work for that uh, Know the law, give me mine, I deserve a play yeah. Hopped across the finish line, ain't no turning back yeah. They ask what I work hard for I need enough space to build a golf course Tired of the corner store, poppy Mr. Lean We in room down in grilled salmon, sipping Riesling Splendid evening, red carpet treatment, whole team winning Day one status, no leech in them. Trust he got the husky wretching on him, don't keep grinning. Unpack a hammer, thinking mean Joe Green hit him. But scratch that, trying to live like profit off ass cat. Drop a few commas and NASDAQ, rise and stash that. I got the plan, man. Donate the rent center to swim and camp at. Lot of kids in that stack, yo. Frank Lucas style, ringside, they in the back row. Make them sick, probably taking flicks, they get his trap, yo. Now I blame the rap flow, hotter than Tabasco. Made it to the front of the line, back. We can't go. Uh, born winner, I can't be defeated. Uh, I was took that's got the limit, my aim is to reach it. Uh, Till I die, 100 remaining to keep it. Uh, uh, Don't worry if they front it, just make them believe it. Uh, uh, born winner, no disturbing that. Uh, it's a cost to be a boss, gotta work for that. Uh, know the law, give me mine, I deserve a play. Hopped uh, across the finish line, ain't no turning back. Uh,
just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. But we finna go, it's firm. We finna take this to the other coast, bro. I got some hopes. See, I do these shows, get these people on my soul. I got the Midas touch. Everything I sing on turn to gold, but but they ain't no rush. We did it, nigga. Open doors that got this opportunity. The type of moments that I grew to be a new of me. Rest in peace to all the bros that didn't make it. I feel a ticket just for them, cause I cannot replace them. We bout to love it up. You might wanna come fuck with us. I'll can get that Chevy Tahoe. Keep it black and bulletproof. See, that's what like the motto. Keep pushing forward till we get it out and popping bottles. There ain't no wasting time. Ain't looking for no crime to take my freedom. Got us on the door, I gotta stay alive. I gotta lead them. Man, who else is gonna feed them? I'ma take advantage of everything, nigga. This is my season. I just want the money. Cars, clothes. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord. It's time to boss up. Sacrifice the time is golden. What if it cost us? Breaking through the barriers, I promise they can't stop us. Nobody finna block us. I finna take the shot, cause niggas finna hate. They also sell the brown wood. Never get the ring with a mistake. The niggas watch them ball to grow to be a king. You see my face is mama serious. I win, I lose this game. Now tell me what's the price of fame. I promise you can keep the chain. And I've been waiting my whole life for this. Patient as I get my placement. We go on places. I remember I was in the basement. Now I'm shaking his what's weight. Shut out the shade 45. I had an interview with Rizzy Gray. I gotta take my time. I will not waste no time for the elevator. These rounds, no matter what mountain I climb, oh yeah, I'm talking the job. Keep me focused to find, give me light, I'ma shine this little light of mine. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord knows. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord knows. I just want the money, cars, clothes, boats, hoes, Lord knows. I just want the money, cars, clothes. Locked up, watch who you're speaking with. Right. You get the bag and you watch who you spend it with. Them hyenas hungry, they ain't got no pics. Cause they looking, they watching. Them scavengers to see what you're dropping. So hold on. Hold on. I broke bread with folks I should've let star. star. I wish them well. well. They did me wrong. Uh -huh. It hurt my heart. Still, I cause no harm. Why? I remained solid uh -huh. and kept my hustle strong. What else? I didn't stop. I just got it, got it. Right. Grind with vengeance. Uh -huh. Just stuff my pockets. Uh -huh. Remember the times when they left me hanging. Uh -huh. But when they called, I turned they my right to the payment. Cool. That's just who I am. Yep. But to an extent, right. it take a lot now before I call you my friend. Uh -huh. I've been through a whole lot her never begins and some will never ever get that fucking close ain't again. no friends in this business just associates you keep your thoughts locked up watch who you're speaking with right. you get the bag and you watch who you spend it with them hyenas hungry they ain't got no pics cause they looking they watching them scavengers to see what you're dropping so hold on hold on I keep the blower close, uh -huh. and my peepers woke, cause every laugh that you hear ain't behind no joke, uh -huh. they might be smiling, dawg, doing the most, right. to get close to your fam and cut your throat, what? it been years of building my inner circle, uh -huh. my foundation strong up top of solid structure, so we won't fall no more cause we each other's crutches, right. and if it's time for war, we move like 300, right. it's about the right team, uh -huh. not the hype team, you know the ones that keep it quiet and do things. 
scenes. Play the background, not always trying to be seen. No friendships, just building this family. Ain't no friends in this business, just associates. You keep your thoughts locked up, watch who you're speaking with. You get the bag and you watch who you spend it with. Them hyenas hungry, they ain't got no pics. Cause they looking, they watching. Them scavengers to see what you're dropping. So hold on. Hold on. Yeah, and we back with the CEO role experience to give you that good end of the show performance by my man Keith Freeman performing Wanna Be Free. Wanna be free, can't worry about nobody that don't worry about me. You should stay in your lane, everybody ain't G. I just wanna be myself, I don't wanna be P. Failure's not an option. Keep it moving, find the answer to your problems. We ain't stopping. You my dog, I'm your dog, so we locked in. Walk up in the bank, it ain't much to say. Trying to take this thing I'm doing to another level. Foot heavy on the gas, I need another pedal. Put too much up in this shit so I can never settle. Here's some shit I seen before that I can never tell you. You can look up in my heart and see what pain is. You can't do the same shit, that's what it's saying is. Niggas need to grow up, that's what change is. Be yourself, nothing else, but what your lane is. That don't worry about me. Everybody ain't G. I just wanna be myself. So I don't wanna be paid. Yeah. Failure's not an option. Uh. Keep it moving. Find, find the answer, answer to your problems. problems. We, we ain't stopping. Stop you my dog. I'm your dog. So Look. Locked in. Failing is never one of the options. We gon' keep it moving. We solving all of our problems. Worry about myself. The only person can stop them. The love all my dogs, my niggas. You know we locked in. Don't that shit feel good when you? When you see it coming together, it's less stressing When you got the faith you could do it, it's less pressing For every L that we done took, take just lessons I be staying out the way, I'm just trying to do me I ain't trying to be nobody, I'm just trying to be free Yo. You can ask my OG, if you thinking that it's sweet, you don't really know me I be staying in my lane, I'm just trying to do me I ain't trying to be nobody, I'm just trying to be free Was always solid as a younger, you can ask my OG You thinking that it's sweet, you don't really know me Can't worry about nobody that don't worry about me You should stay in your lane, everybody ain't G I just wanna be myself, I don't wanna be P But it's not an option Keep it moving, find an answer to your problems we ain't stopping. You my dog, I'm your dog, so we locked in. TG, Keith's free. CEO of Row Experience, TeamGhostly.com. Tap in. The one on all platforms right now. Shout out my dog, Ace the Chemist, on that. Yeah. Oh, my blind is a bit.